and it has changed my life tremendously. The most challenging part is has nothing to do with the actual project, it's accepting that there's still trust, that people still trust what I'm capable of doing. For offender Eva Ortiz and former offender Carolina Landa, now a college student, the Taylor's Checker Spot Butterfly Program at Mission Creek Correction Center has been an amazing experience. Kelly Bush from the Sustainability in Prisons Project explains the program's goals. SPP's goal is really to bring um, science education and a connection with nature in inside prisons. We see ecological benefits in that we're helping with recovery of an endangered species, but also just in speaking with the women that we work with, we, um, we hear that this is really beneficial to them as well. Um, we see them identifying as science learners, being excited to pursue additional education. Employees of the Department of Corrections SPP, the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife, and the Oregon Zoo were at the Scatter Creek Wildlife Area in Thurston County to get this year's butterfly larvae ready for release. It is the fifth season in which the women of Mission Creek have helped out and they have now released over 9,000 larvae. You become attached because you see them all the time and then you get worried that they're going to survive. For Landa, who was in the program from 2011 to 2014, while she was incarcerated at Mission Creek, it was not only a job, but became a passion. I'm going to um, pursue my master's in environmental science and then with a part of it being um, in social science, social justice as well. I want to continue working with programs like SPP and or other kind of programs and uh, just really help towards that link of the re-entry part and, and um, helping people when they are released as well. Breeding and flight season for the 1,000 larvae will begin in late April and early May.